let's talk about the first game because there were two games today and uh, the first game today has we have to talk about ab de villiers because i think we spoke about him for about 5 or 6 minutes after the game finished so that is about 5 or 6 minutes less than we should be speaking <laughs> about him and virat kohli had a quote as well we're going to put that up on screen and that's going to come really quickly as well so you guys better be quick when you read that i'm counting on the two of you there you go take it away now well uh, he always looks he... at the team situation adapts his game uh, he's the most impactful match winner uh, when he goes the opposition knows they've got a slim chance purely because of the presence the presence that's the thing it's the presence isn't it lisa it's larger than life you know till he's there you may have you know whatever the asking rate is till he's there the opposition is not breathing easy and the opposition will end up doing things like what steve smith i think said later that he wanted to give uh, i think the leg side boundary the leg side longer boundary to not cut and that's why uh, they played him in the 19th year again that's that's reactive isn't it it's not proactive yeah you have players that um just walk on the field and they have this air of confidence and you know that they've been in so many situations they've found ways to win now ab de villiers is that um and for virat who you know all of us think is a wonderful three format player for him to kind of revere ab de villiers just shows you um what he is thought of by his peers um and that's the biggest reward really if your peers are fearful or they know how skillful you are um they shudder a little bit i mean he doesn't he's not big and muscular like a chris gale or an andre russell boy what he can do to the ball and how he can manipulate it's almost like he's in the bowler's head and he's a few balls in front of him then he knows exactly where to hit bowl and able to manipulate it so um he's a pleasure to watch i just wish we could keep watching him time and time again uh this is these are the situations we got a graphic for you we'll have a look uh, joy and then you can tell us a little more about it bring it bring it guys come on there it is these are the oh. situations superman eb de villiers these are the the situations when he walks in and what he does it's just the impact this is what virat is talking about it's the impact that he has on a game no absolutely this is a superb graphic because you know often innings are not looked at in perspective this gives you a perspective yeah 94 for 2 12.2 he comes in and it becomes 192 102.2 in 13 overs he comes in makes it 179 it's a kind of difference that he makes to a game and that is what is winning innings are about and see that's what is so important it's not about the runs you scored you know a lot of times you see things that flatter to deceive like pat cummings in the first match hit about 5 6 in the last over last two three overs they were meaningless the match was over by then True. so the big thing is that what abd does actually matters in victories and these these are all the ones in victories you can see he's got an impact in the four victories uh, that he's got an impact in 51 of 30 55 of 24 73 of 33 and 55 of 22 that's what you need to look at he's pretty much coming beyond the halfway stage of the innings at all times and he's taking them to positions of victory so if i was to distill that graphic that's what i would uh, bring out of that that's the it's also that sense of responsibility and it's what gives virat the faith lisa you got faith in this guy because he's doing this for you every time yeah the only thing is you just make sure that he actually bats in the position that he should no, don't put <laughs> him back anyway enough about that <laughs> but they the didn't win that, that game you see yeah. why that you see why that that yeah. game of him coming at 6 is not in that graphic is because they did not win that game the the key thing is really the best players take their time at the start you know very few can go ballistic from ball 1 even ab de villiers uh, and then after his 10 balls what he strikes it over 200 so it just shows you the acceleration the information that he picks up as well from the pitch what what the pitch is doing what the bounce is what the opposition are doing the field placements the short bounce he picks it all up just like that and then runs with it um so yeah just incredible what he's able to do 